Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. As you can see here on the screen, I'm heating it up. The temperature increased, so we will see how we can use this to measure the temperature. I will also provide the code for you so you can download it easily and use it. So the, the device is very simple, it has three pins, the negative or the ground that you connected to the ground and then positive on this side which is connected to 5 volts and then we have the data out. So this is a serial communication that uses, we are using Arduino to communicate with the device and uh, this module is made with uh, this PCB so there is an extra resistor so you don't have to do that, so everything is easy and s simple and clean. The depth is 7.3 mm, the width is 13.9 mm, the length is 28.9 mm. In terms of connection, I'm connecting that red one is 5 volts, connecting it here, ground, the right one, and the middle one is connected to pin 2. So now let's have a look at the code. Get the code. I have used these these two file from the source Adidax from GitHub, and these two files are dht11.cpp and dht11.h. The link will be provided, so you need to put these two in a folder called DHT and put it inside the library. Inside your Arduino, wherever you have the Arduino, there is a folder called library. Just open inside this, put this folder. And inside the folder, we have these two files. That example, ignore it. So these two files are these files that we are getting from GitHub and you put it here. So I will provide a link that you can get it from here or you can download this from robojacks.com and then put them here. Once you put that, then here is the code. So the first line, it says include. I will put some extra description and comment above this line, but this is dht11.h, which is this file. It's referring to this, and this file requires this .cpp. So these two must exist before you can run this. And then we are just initializing it here with the object. And then this is the pin that you use. In my case, I'm using the pin 2. Inside the setup, we have nothing except this 9600 kilo baud for the uh, serial monitor to print. And this is the begin and using of this DHT. So this starts communicating with the device. And then this line is reading the humidity, so we put DHT11 dot humidity will give will get the for the humidity and stores it as an integer here. After that, because getting the Celsius and Fahrenheit was uh, not available with this uh, library, I have created get temperature, which gets the temperature. You see DHT11 dot temp. And then I put in front of it the word float so, so it converts it to float because when you do that calculation it has some decimal points. So this opening and closing means casting or changing the type. And then it makes it a uh, temperature with a type float. So this will be now the temperature. And then if we need Fahrenheit, this will be the calculation, the value. If we need the Kelvin, so it can give you also the Kelvin. If it's centigrade, so original calculation is in centigrade and let will reach. So here I've used get temp because this is the uh, method name. So you just say get temp and inside single code, very important. Inside single code, just put C. So this will get the temperature and then this is just a text uh, beside that value. So you see this 21C, so that is the temperature and then C is that C. And then next, get temp and then F. So this will go and get the Fahrenheit. So this is the Fahrenheit. And then type F and then humidity. So we get the humidity. Currently it's just running. So I'm heating this up and you pay attention. Yeah. 
you see the temperature increase 27 at the bottom just read the lower just read this lower portion so now it's 58 degrees so this device can go up to 60 degrees and after that it's, it goes between 20 uh, between 20 and 60 degrees so above 60 degrees celsius it will not read so let me heat it up once it reach uh, 60 degrees after that it doesn't go high perhaps now the temperature is very high and once it reaches below 60 degrees we will be able to read the value because it, it will come within the range now it's out of range so maybe i should hold it with my hand so it gets cooled down my body will absorb the temperature Yeah, you see now it's 59, 58 and it's dropping. You can see here that the humidity, if I just put my breath over this and you... You see that the humidity increased as I put my breath over this. That's it. So this was the introduction to HT11. If you're using it for this purpose, that will be fine. Also, I will create another video with the display to show uh, this on the seven segment display. So if you're using it in some, some kind of other application that needs reading, then you can use that. But otherwise, this can be used to control some devices based on temperature. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video. Please share it and also subscribe. I appreciate it.